Hello, this reading is for those who just recently broke up or had a fallout with your partner. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, who you're dealing with, who left who, etc. The advice spread, is it worth your time to reconcile with this ex? And the new love in the near future spread. Do you have anybody new coming towards you, hopefully better suited for you than your ex? Please like my videos if they resonate and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Hi Aries, here's the situation. We have the star clarified by the Hierophant. We have the two of cups. We have judgment. We have the five of pentacles clarified by the four of pentacles. And we have the two of ones on the bottom of the deck. You could have been dealing with a Taurus or an Aquarius. Um, I can interpret this spread a couple of um, different ways. Uh, scenario number one is um, somebody whom uh, was deciding between you and another person, chose another person, or your boyfriend, your girlfriend uh, went back to their ex when their ex resurfaced in their life and uh, thus breaking your heart, unfortunately. So we've got the two ones on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of somebody making a decision, somebody who is deciding between two, uh, two different suitors, two different options. And I think that's the energy of the person you were dealing with. They were deciding between um, you and another person, or it's possible that they already started a relationship with you, or they started seeing you, and uh, their ex found out accidentally, or somebody told them. I don't know, and. Uh, they made an offer to your ex to reconcile and uh, your ex went back to their ex. I hope that makes sense. Basically, your, your heart is broken because um, this person left you for somebody else or uh, they went back to their ex. So we have the star clarified by the Hierophant. The star could be an Aquarius and the Hierophant could uh, be a Taurus. But together, it was your relationship or it was your uh, commitment here, right? And then uh, here comes the X with the judgment card. Or if uh, the person you were dealing with uh, was deciding between two different people, you and another person, they made, they made a judgment call to um, go with another person. In the outcome, we have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is a card of somebody feeling left out in the cold. And the Four of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is closed off. So this could be your energy, feeling left out in the cold right now, feeling closed off, feeling kind of sad, even depressed a little bit, and that's totally understandable. Or uh, those two cards symbolize this other person coming out of the cold and uh, reclaiming the person you were starting to see. And uh, they were, were just holding on to them with the Four of Pentacles really really tightly and uh, that was the end of the story and the tail of cups this is um, your person getting together with um, another person so hopefully it makes sense but um, I can't really think of any other ways to interpret this spread uh, if you can please do so in the comments down below I am always open to feedback but let's take a look at the advice spread real quick here's the advice for you Aries, this is from your perspective, this is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have uh, the Devil, clarified by the Eight of Cups, we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Wands, and we have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Fire Sign, another Aries, the or Sagittarius. So I think the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck, that is you, Aries, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The Devil, the first card I came out, it could be a Capricorn, or it could be that ex whom you were just dealing with, the person we saw revealed to us in the, in the first spread. And uh, if it's not a Capricorn, this person is simply very toxic. And uh, from the advice point of view, um, you need to cut this person out of your life and uh, walk away from this person. As I was clarifying the devil, I was hoping to catch um, a chord card, but instead I got the Eight of Cups. And I think the Eight of Cups is very similar to the Ace of Swords energy. Uh, the Ace of Swords uh, suggests cutting this person out of your life. 
and the Eight of Cups suggests walking away from this person, right? And uh, by the way, we have another Ace. So I think the, the second Ace, the Ace of Pentacles, has to do with uh, somebody new coming into your life. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of a victory. This is a card of happiness. This is a card of recognition. This is a card of feeling good. So yeah, I think you are being provided two Aces here. One of them should be used to cut the uh, Toxic X out of your life. And uh, the uh, second Ace, the Ace of Pentacles, is all about a new person coming into your life. Um, speaking of a new person coming into your life, uh, that's exactly what the third spread is about. A new love coming towards you in the near future. Let's take a look. Here's the third spread for you, Aries. This is a new love coming towards you in the near future, hopefully in February. We have the Four of Wands, we have the Lovers, we have the Ace of Cups clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini. So the Lovers is uh, the personal Gemini card. The Lovers is also a card of a choice, but to be honest with you, I don't really see anything for you to choose from, except for perhaps uh, you're still choosing to either completely forget about that toxic ex and uh, move on. So that's the only choice I, I can think of, but I think you will be making that choice <laughs> by yourself. You don't need anybody's help. Because uh, the Ace of Swords in the previous spread, this is a very serious determination to cut somebody out of your life. Anyway, so back to this spread. The Lovers, if it's not about a choice, then this person could be your soulmate. If you believe in Twin Flame, this person could be your Twin Flame connection. Um, or this person is simply the love of your life. The connection between the two of you will be really, really strong with the Lovers card. And uh, the first card that came out is the Four of Wands. This is a card of a relationship or marriage. Some people call it the 11-11 card. And uh, we also have another marriage card, the Ten of Pentacles, which is clarifying the Ace of Cups. As I was clarifying the Ace of Cups, I was asking who is this person? Who is it uh, coming towards Aries? Uh, I was hoping to get a court card, but I got a Ten of Pentacles instead. And uh, that's not too shabby either. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, like I said, is one of the marriage cards. It's a very solid, very grounded type of a connection. This is where um, people buy real estate together, have children together, if that is still an option for you. Right, then uh, the Ace of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love offers. This is a very emotional, very genuine and authentic. And um, the cherry on top, I guess, is the uh, Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is a wish come true card. And uh, this is also a card of personal satisfaction. So yeah, this is actually an amazing spread, Aries. I'm really happy for you. We have two relationship, two commitment cards. We have the Lovers, we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Nine of Cups. So this new person is going to be it for you. This person will be a dream come true for you. And uh, this is somebody you've been uh, waiting for or hoping for for a long time. And finally, this wish is coming into fruition for you. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what I got for you. Uh, don't bother with that uh, toxic ex. Um, just wait for this person to arrive in your life, into your life, and uh, reach out yourself if you have to. Just go see other people. Don't stay at home for too long if you can, considering what's going on in the world right now. And um, don't forget to watch my other videos on my channel and other than that have an amazing month and there you have it I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified thank you for watching